This is the only character we saw from the security footage or something like that from last night's case. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I see. So you want me to have a talk with him? The sheriff being childish. You can have a talk with him. Okay, thank you. Anyway, Zach Foster, you are coming with me to the dining room and on the, the first floor for a talk. Um, Zach, can you explain to me why did you bend things, including Dr. Danny, along with a certain security camera? And I don't know. Oh my gosh. What on earth did you do? What, what do you mean what I did? It must have been the, uh, Comarca or something like that. How could it have been me? You're a liar. You are a huge liar. We took a look at the security cameras, and it turned out that you were the only one who fenced things in the house. Is that okay to do so? Um, no. No, it isn't. What makes you think that was a good idea? <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to give the question to you. Anyway, your behavior about in, uh, in this house was unacceptable, and for that, you're kicked out of the house for today. What? I'm kicked out? Yep. So get out of my house. All right. Oh, man. Is everything okay, Travis? Yeah. I'm, not everything's okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, thank you for kicking me out of the house for bending things in the house. Uh, you're welcome, but that wasn't fun at all when he bends things in this house. I know, right? So, since Zag is now kicked out of the house for the rest of the day, what are you going to do now without him? I'm not sure, because yeah, I'm like uh, away from Zach now for the rest of the day or something. Oh, man. I don't want to deal with him for the rest of the day anymore. That wasn't fun. That, that's because he just been staying in this house. Oh, I see. Anyway, um, do you mind if you can tell Rachel Gardner the bad news? Oh, really? Are you sure? Yep. Okay, what do you want me to tell her? You should tell her that Zach is gone for the rest of the day. Can you do that? Oh, okay then. Where is she at? Oh, I'll tell you. She's upstairs and to the right. <laughs> All right, Rachel Garner, I got something I want to say to you really quick. What is it? Um, I'll tell you what happened. Um, <clears throat> you see, um, something bad happened today. What happened? Well, it turns out that your exact friend, Foster, uh, was sleepwalking uh, on the security footage we saw today. But he wasn't only sleepwalking, but he was sleep bending. Wait, now did he use the bend stuff while he was sleepwalking back in Future Love Season 3, Episode 6, Ben Was Love? Yep, that's right. Anyway, um, the bad news I want to say to you is that I'm afraid that Zach will be gone from this house for today. Wait, why? Because He's uh, been to other uh, things in this house, such as um, stuff from one room and the Dr. Denny. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, you'll excuse me? I have to go. Oh, man. It's really disappointed me a lot when Zach got to dub the house for the rest of the day. But anyway, I'm just going to turn it and see what happened. Okay, let me turn the TV on first. Oh, uh, what's that? Breaking news? Hello, everyone. I am Mr. Tosaki once again. Wait, uh, this is not Tosaki, because you're already at home. I mean, my name is, um, um, Ryan Asuk, and you're watching Los Angeles News. Today, a person uh, named Zach Foster, I mean, one of the people, uh, has been, uh, one of the, the things that happened, which is spending things in the house. So, if you have any idea on who could have done it, call 911 immediately. But if you have any already know who he is, then the penalty could be the rest of the day in jail. Oh, okay. Wow. I can't believe that one of the people likes to bend things in his house. But I'm going to have to call 911 to see who did that. Um, come on, please answer. Come on, come on. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, hello there, 911. I have a question for you. What? Um, I just watched the news recently, so, um, I just took a look at the news video already, 
and it turns out one of the people has sent things at Travis's house. Oh, really? How? Well, we checked the security footages but from upstairs recently uh, after uh, uh, he sent the other people's things or something. So, do you have any idea who did this? Oh, okay. I'll uh, check what uh, who did it by checking the security cameras. Do not hang up until I figure out who did it. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, wait. I know who did that. It was not Boston. Okay, we will send you the for the rest of the day. Thank you for letting us know. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll hang up. Wow, wow, wow. What do we have here? Oh, my name is Zach Foster. Oh, hey, Zach Foster. Um, have you been using the bending technique before? Yeah, I used to um, bend um, a strings or something like that to make them flexible or something like that. Well, have you um, been using um, the uh, strings technique by bending in this house like Rachel Garner told me? Um, no? Okay, let me have a look at this picture right here really quick. It's the bent thing that Zach did. And, um, let's see, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it right here. Yeah. Aha, I have an idea. I think he bent things in his house, but when things are bent in this house, it will not be back to normal or something like that. And even worse, he bent Dr. Denny and the bent security camera footage from the, the screen. Am I right? Um, yeah. Okay, that's the truth of that monster. All right, mister. They're coming with me. Oh, man. I can't wait to watch some more news. But first, let me turn on the TV here by pressing the power button. Yes. Great team news from Los Angeles, everybody. The evil character from the 2018 Funimation show, Angels of Death, has been arrested for bending things in his house. He was bending strongly and bent six items such as the eighth thing, jumbling, slinky, uh, the security camera, including uh, the sofa, and the metal piece or something like that, including Dr. Danny, which is one person that's bent, and which is the strong ability without bending things. For that reason, he'll be going to jail for the rest of today. Well, and that we will really make sure that we will teach that the lesson about bending things in the house. So starting tomorrow, we will uh, teach that the lesson when he gets home. But I'm still hoping that he will learn his lesson anytime soon. Oh, man. I cannot believe that Doc got out of the house today because of um, bending things in his house. Because the only amount of things that he bent was the seven. Six for the object. And another one that was a person or something. So the only person that's bent is Dr. Denny. But I'm sure that he'll be uh, healed anytime soon uh, from the bending. But anyway, I am planning to comment here about uh, the tiger from Bungo Stray Dogs. And the only character that can change into a tiger is Atsushi Nakajima. So the conference here will begin at um, starting right about now because the time right here right now is at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, I'm going to remind everyone about that. <clears throat> All right, I'm the Chen Divinity. Conference is time. Thank you for coming to the Architective Agency Conference. What's this all about? Well, it turns out that one of the workers that has turned into a tiger from the real show or something like that, from episode 10. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, this is where the scene where uh, Ryan Osuke and Azuzi got into a boss fight in the boat or something like that. And then um, when Kyoka pressed the button, most of the parts of the boat exploded. And, um, you know, uh, Azuzi uh, gets turned into a tiger sometimes. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's true. I know it's true, but, uh, oh, yeah. I forgot. He also turned into a tiger on the first episode, too. Okay, that makes sense. And for season two as well. Okay, that seems like the uh, biggest creature in the world when he got turned into a tiger. So, uh, how much is that going to cost for the damages of the boat from season one, episode ten? 
Oh, look, everybody, it's definitely not going to be good. What, wait, what? Not good? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's probably going to be like $10,000. Wait, wait, did you just say $10,000? Yeah. All they did was get into a fight here and cause a uh, ton of fights in that boat. Yeah, well, you know what the jury is? Well, we don't allow boats in the tree anymore. We're the workers from the um, side of agency. Not the whole mafia crew, okay? We have an important job. We just don't have enough time to get into fights or something. Oh, you're right. Well, do you mind if you can uh, just go to the bank company so they can get over the damages then? Oh, oh, okay, sure. Okay, that's a good thing that they're paying for the damages from the last seven years. Am I right? Hmm, yep, you must have got that right. Anyways, I have no idea how Atsushi Mikajima used to be uh, uh, turned into a tiger on the real show called Bungo Stray Dogs. But I do love to know that we can allow him to transform into a tiger in the city, since it's the show from the, the, the 2001 film that just begun. Okay, I understand that completely. What do you want us to do about it? Well, I really want Travis um, to teach Atsushi Mikajima how to turn himself into a tiger. Oh, okay, I understand that. But if he does it the correct way, then he's good. Okay, I think he knows what to do. All right. But anyway, that's all the time that we have for today. Conference is now dismissed. So what is the only thing of this transforming into a technique that I have to do? Well, I have to do this magic trick on you, Asushi. What? Magic trick? Yeah. Why do I have to be transformed into a tiger by using your magic trick? Because most people used to do magic tricks on people and they transform it into people but from big or to any kind of creature or something like that. And also, I got the magic artist in front, uh, and it stuck in front of me from the last uh, two years ago or something, and I can test it on one, and I got an idea on you, so you gotta know what it feels like. That's stupid. But this is, this is magic area. We don't have to go through this. All magic people will have to do it, okay? So, you ready? Yes! Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, I can't believe my magic power worked on him. Because he turned from him into a tiger. Now, uh, as you see, before I can turn you into a tiger, uh, I'm, I want you to do a selling event from the tiger thing, just like in real life. Okay, but before you do that, I'm going to give you an example. A watch. This is my practice technique of the war of the tiger thing. Watch. Ooh, okay, I got this. I got this, guys. Here I go. Wow. 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 I can't believe it. It worked on my first try. Now you try. Wow. Good job, Asushi. Okay. I am now going to turn you back into a human right now. Okay, one, two, three. Ding. All right, Ashishi, your training time of turning into a tiger is over. Anyway, um, before um, um, uh, we tell him to how well we did, um, I want to make sure that your tiger technique of the warning thing was really amazing. You test it with one try, but not many tries. But anyway, um, um, yep, that's pretty much it. So you're telling me that I passed the, um, turning tr into a tiger technique? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see. It looks like we're all done talking here or something. So anyway, um, all we have to do now is go downstairs to the dining room, which is on the first floor, and then, we're going to tell Kenji on how well we did. Anyway, let's get going. I'm really glad that we get to have the same conversation this time. What is it this time? Well, I wanted to make sure how well Atsushi did uh, well, turning himself into a tiger. Okay, so anyway, Kunikita, um, can you explain to me how, um, how well did Atsushi did at the transforming into a tiger technique? Let's see here. There was only two lists here. Um, that he turned himself into a tiger. So, um, that's a check mark. 
and uh, he did the warning technique from the tiger sound effect. So um, he already did that, so that's a check mark. Okay, after C, you've completed the entire transforming into a tiger technique. So you know what that means? What? You pass. Yay! Ding dong. Wait, did you hear that? Yep. Anyway, who's at the door? Uh, hello? <gasps> that? Yep, that's me. Wait, what are you doing here? Well, I do want to apologize since I got kicked out of the house yesterday for, um, bending things in this house or something. But luckily, I'm free from jail, uh, today. So, so, so I had to stay in jail yesterday for just one day, uh, instead of another day. Because uh, it will be the perfect time, to, uh, no, the time for me, so I can come back home. Oh, yeah, that's true. Anyway, um, I also do want to apologize to you for having Travis kicking you out of the house, and, um, and, um, uh, that's because you were bending in the house yesterday, right? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm so sorry. That's okay, Zach. So, is there anything you want to say? Um, can I come inside again? Okay, sure thing, Zach. I hope you learned your lesson. I'm so glad that I get to be in this house once again. Oh, oh, oh man. I hope this won't be happening again anymore. Because it happened yesterday on me. That wasn't fun when they kicked me out of the house or something. Oh man. The only bad thing I did was bending things in this house. But since I learned my lesson, I promise to not do any stuff like that ever again in my life. Oh, but I'm still friends with Rachel Garner or something. Oh, man. Man. So, well, uh, even though I'm not stupid anymore, I used to learn my lesson back in uh, season three or something like that after I entered Travis's house. But still, I'm not as stupid as I think I am. Oh, man. I hope I'm still learning a lesson about bending things in this house or something. And plus, I actually thought I would get away with this. Oh, but not anymore. Oh, oh, oh man.